Tonight, we'll be covering Buffalo City Mayor elections, Shocking's move against the executive branch and retirement, the assembly inquiry and a change in cabinet positions, and new executive orders. Governor, that man Stan has called for mayor elections for the city of Buffalo, citing that, quote, has gone months without any leadership, leaving our beloved city departments, such as the Buffalo City Fire Department and Police Department, without direction or mandate, end quote. Speaker of the Assembly, fierce as the fire, criticized the governor for this. He believes the city government will not work out as per last time and believes the state government cannot currently have enough members, let alone can a city government have members, to allow it to run efficiently. He continued with, quote, We have much bigger priorities than moving towards a city government, nor has the governor consulted with anyone to see if we are sufficient enough as a community for such move. His decisions should be based off the standing point of the community, not towards his agenda, end quote. Edward A. Montana and Marcus Russo automatically won the mayor election because they were the only people running. In a surprising move on Lieutenant Governor Clearly Bex, Secretary of Homeland Security, shocking BIP craze, claimed to have conducted an investigation on Lieutenant Governor Clearly Bex which led him to be declared as an associate of the IRA by the agency. The governor later dismissed Secretary Shocking and appointed him as deputy secretary due to being unwillingly to share the evidence against the lieutenant governor and disagreed a non-withdrawn executive order. Moreover, Governor Stan said, quote, many complaints have been raised about Mr. Shocking's attitude and toxicity which I have taken into account, end quote. Shocking soon resigned and left the community afterwards. Speaker of the Assembly, fierce as the fire, announced an inquiry into the matter of clearly Bex. The lieutenant governor later responded in an announcement to admitting to bombing the Capitol and was willing to cooperate with the General Assembly. Less than an hour later, in a separate announcement by the lieutenant governor, Clearly, Bex resigned and stated that, quote, I stand by the Capitol bombing with the IRA, even though I have no, even though I have proof of being threatened to death and will, I will happily be able to provide anybody who wants to see any proof, end quote. The governor responded and welcomed Lieutenant Governor's resignation and nominated him for adjunct general of the National Guard. He also appointed Mystery 247 as Lieutenant Governor and urged the General Assembly to end their inquiry into clearly Bex. Governor That Man Stan issued two executive orders on July 27th. One established new procedures for keeping records on investigations, and the other ordered the Department of Homeland Security, Buffalo City Police Department, and East Amherst Police Department to submit their statutory mandated bulletins. That's all for tonight, and stay tuned for more news.